Welcome to the Skyspeak University webinar series. Good morning. This is Jason Jones, the VP of Sales for SkySwitch. And on behalf of the entire SkySwitch team and our technology partners, a big thank you to everyone for joining the webinar today. Today, we have two industry professionals uh, presenting their respective content, and I will be moderating as usual. First, from DataGate, we have CEO Mark Lovies. He will be presenting an overview of their telecom SaaS billing platform that has recently been integrated and being offered by SkySwitch as a billing option. For those new to DataGate, they are a premier global provider of a comprehensive cloud-based billing portal with optional ConnectWise Manage and QuickBooks integration. Their platform enables MSPs and VoIP service providers to rate, tax, automate, and bill telecom, and generally any service type. Really excited about having them here today. Our second presenter today is to Topher Barrow of ConnectWise. As many of you already know, ConnectWise is the industry de facto standard for MSP-centric back office automation ecosystem that allows technology businesses to operate more efficiently and effectively. Topher will provide today's audience with an overview of the latest advancements embedded into their powerful suite of products. As always, we will conduct the QA session immediately after the presentation, so therefore, I encourage all participants to type any and all your questions into the question widget section of the GoToWebinar plugin. As always, we are recording today's webinar, which will be posted on the SkySwitch YouTube channel, and we will also send this to all participants via email immediately after the webinar. Now, let's settle in and get prepared to get enlightened by Mr. Mark Lovies of DataGate. The floor is all yours, Mark. Thank you, Jason, and thank you, everybody, for attending. Uh, so my name is Mark Lovies from, from DataGate, and we are uh, providers of a uh, telecom billing solution. Uh, it's called DataGate, and uh, uh, we, we like to uh, show how we, we, we work and integrate with our partners uh, with this diagram that you'll see on the screen now. So, so at DataGate, our, uh, our philosophy is, uh, is partnership, and uh, we work with some great partners, and, uh, and we also have a philosophy that we call stay in our lane. And staying in our lane means that we, we focus on what we do and we integrate with other solutions uh, to enable uh, the functionality that's best from them. We integrate to everything that's important for MSPs. MSPs and, uh, and uh, voice solution providers are our main target market. So, so you'll see here how we, we work together with our partners, um, Sky, with SkySwitch, uh, is our, um, we're an ISV partner. We're also a, an Invent partner with ConnectWise. We partner with them globally. Uh, we think ConnectWise is a fantastic uh, professional services automation platform, uh, and, and by integrating with them, we, we enable the, our customers to, to get the, the best out of, out of ConnectWise. And also uh, QuickBooks, uh, we work with, uh, with them as well. We also have integrations with Xero and, and other accounting packages. You'll see also that we work with Compliance Solutions, who's also a partner of SkySwitches. Compliance Solutions specialize in the US telecom taxes, so they take, take care of all that complexity for you. So as I mentioned, we also work directly with QuickBooks. So, so if, you do, if you don't have ConnectWise, connect, uh, connect -wise, you can work directly in with QuickBooks as well. But, but really, um, I guess our most popular configuration that we're, we're seeing with, uh, with MSPs is the, is the ConnectWise in, uh, integration. And from there, the, everything flows through to, to QuickBooks. So, 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 so why do we focus so much on integration? Integration is our key differentiator, I guess, and it's, uh, it's mainly because uh, you, you can eliminate uh, rekeying all the time that's wasted, rekeying from one system to another, which in turn eliminates the mistakes that, that people make when they're rekeying things. It reduces the time that's taken each month when you do your billing. Uh, obviously, reduces cost because saving time saves cost and, and maximize profit, which is what I guess we're, we're all about. So it's it's quite clear, you know, the, the advantages of, of an integrated solution that makes up all these these, these powerful uh, systems that we that we integrate with. So, so basically, uh, our first integration uh, in, in the diagram is is with SkySwitch, and that's where we we take the call detail records. And so we at DataGate we get to see all the calls uh, that your customers are making, uh, and we can there, thereby uh, validate that. That everything's been configured correctly. We see the calls come through. We match match the the phone numbers, the DIDs against what's been configured in DataGate. Uh, we also enable you to create any kind of pricing plan that you see that the big telcos do. So, uh, if you want to do call buckets of minutes, if you want to do um, 
uh, overages, international toll rating, um, 0800 numbers, toll free. Uh, you can do it all with Datagate. We, we support all the standard uh, pricing mechanisms. So um, that, that's the advantage of, of having this, this connection with SkySwitch. It also enables very optimized tax calculations as well, because we can analyze uh, and do what they call traffic studies, so we can see you know, what type of calls your customers are making in terms of interstate, intrastate, etc. So, so we basically uh, we, we we generate the invoice, the telecom invoice inside Datagate. It's a very specialized kind of invoice due to the pricing plans and the tax that uh, that, that are added. Uh, sometimes it's eight, nine, or ten different taxes depending on the jurisdictions of your customers. Uh, so, so we, when we're calculating our invoices, we, we pass the invoices over to Compliance Solutions Tax Engine, and they add all of the, the ta taxes that are applicable, depending on the zip code of your customer or the zip code of where the services um, have been provisioned. So they add the taxes to the invoice and they pass it back to Datagate. They also hold on to the, uh, the data as well, so that uh, so that they can pr uh, lodge your tax returns for you. So. They can actually take care of all the, the complexity involved with uh, with, with uh, remitting taxes to all these different jurisdictions, uh, and they can also advise you on um, on how you register and 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 look after the legalities um, of of the jurisdictions that your customers are located in. So so they're excellent partners to have as well, and we're we're fully integrated with them, and, and Datagate is a compliance solutions partner. So Datagate. We'll, we'll send your invoices, your telecom invoices, to your customers as a PDF uh, attached to an email, and you've got full control over that process. Uh, you've got full control over how the, in, the uh, email looks and how the invoice looks. The invoice is completely customizable, uh, and it obviously has your logo, and uh, and it displays the the data on the invoice as per how you want to display it. So we give you a fair bit of flexibility there, um, and we also check when we're emailing those those invoices, we check that the email has been successfully successfully received by your customer. So, uh, and if it doesn't, it'll come back uh, with, a, with a red warning uh, and you'll, you'll, see, you'll see that in our uh, user interface. So after we've sent the invoices out to the customers, um, we can now send them through to ConnectWise. And so um, when a Datagate invoice gets sent into ConnectWise, it becomes visible to everybody that's using ConnectWise in your company uh, it means that you know on the support desk, etc., they can, um, if there's any inquiries about the the invoice that your customers received for their telecom services, uh, they can see that there. And it's also visible to other um, solutions that are plugged into ConnectWise Manage. Uh, ConnectWise Manage is, is really becoming an industry standard for a lot of um, additional solutions that are, that are plugged into that. And uh, so that's a huge advantage to have the invoice there in, inside the ConnectWise Manage uh, platform. And from there. Uh, the invoice will follow whatever integration goes into your accounting system. So um, if you're using QuickBooks, which is very, very popular, um, obviously ConnectWise has its own integration to the QuickBooks desktop um, solution and, and the Datagate invoices follow that path uh, through in, into um, QuickBooks. We also um, share data with, with ConnectWise Manage. So um, again, our, our, our objective is to, is to eliminate rekeying. So, so when you get a new customer, and you're using ConnectWise Manage, um, we, we recommend entering the new customer details into ConnectWise Manage as you normally do. Um, and th that customer information, if you flag the, the account as a telecom customer, it will replicate automatically back to Datagate. Uh, so so that, that way it's, it's uh, avoiding rekeying. And, and also if you update any details in that, um, the, the uh, company record of the, of the account in ConnectWise, it will replicate back through to Datagate. We also read ConnectWise agreements. So if you're using agreements to um, to record your what it is you're selling your customers, that also replicates through to Datagate, and uh, and we can invoice based on that agreement information. So that, that brings through products, etc. As well. So we do have uh, some of that functionality if you're just using QuickBooks and you're not using ConnectWise Manage. Um, and, and that we do replicate the customer accounts from QuickBooks. So in that in that particular configuration, we would say um, update the QuickBooks system every time you have a new customer, and that will flow through to Datagate, and it will link the accounts together so that when you generate telecom invoices, uh, they will go back to the to the right account inside QuickBooks. So uh, the best integration we have is with um, QuickBooks Online in terms of the QuickBooks. Uh, if you're using the desktop edition, uh, we have to do that via file transfer. So so the online version is is I guess the best one for the um, for, for integration with Datagate. 
So we also have a white label in customer portal. Um, and we, as we always say to our, our customers and prospects that, that really if you're using ConnectWise, you have a lot of choices in terms of, of the type of portal that you can use. Um, one of the options is the DataGate one, which, uh, which can display DataGate invoices only. Uh, so any invoices generated in DataGate. So if you're using DataGate to generate all of your invoices, then you can use the DataGate um, in customer portal to, to do that. And that's included in the DataGate um, package. So uh, with that portal, you can uh, also pay invoices online. Um, you, we, we can connect to authorize.net, Stripe, and, uh, and we're in the process of uh, integrating with IP pay. So, um, so we support those platforms, um, and which are all, all very popular with the MSP uh, world, and, uh, and and the payment information then goes back into um, your uh, ConnectWise or QuickBooks um, systems and, and keeps track of, uh, of of the account balances, etc. Uh, our portal also shows the call detail records and also enables the customer to uh, be able to put names against DIDs and also um, cost center information. So that means that they can, um, uh, when they're downloading reports, etc., they can see um, they can see uh, who's making the calls and, uh, and and what department. For example, it may be John Smith from the engineering department. So it makes it a bit more meaningful. So this is our uh, our screen um, for for the billing process, and and the the key thing here is that the um, we use a color coding system. So so when you go into to do your billing with DataGate. Um, you're going to see all of your custom, all your telecom customers listed, and uh, the key thing is when you first go in to a new billing month or new period, uh, they'll all be grey coloured, and the grey colour means that they've not been invoiced, um, and so you you uh, check the top checkbox that would select all of the accounts, and you press a button at the top that would pop up. Uh, the buttons always show what what you can do for whatever status you've selected, um, and you press that, and it will just generate all of your invoices in one in one hit. Uh, they'll all then go to the next color, which is the orange uh, or amber color. And uh, when they're orange, um, it means that the invoice has been generated, but it's not been sent to the customer at that stage. And from there, you can um, you can click on it and uh, view it. You can see exactly the PDF that, that's going to go to the to the customer. If you want to, you can view all of them. But from that status, you get a different set of buttons at the top, and and uh, one of the buttons will be to send. So when you're sending invoices to a customer, you can select all and send every single one in one click uh, or if you want to you can view them all individually and send them individually so we, we give you a lot of flexibility uh, the key thing here is that we can see at a, at a glance uh, what's been you know what status everybody's at um, once once an invoice has been sent to the customer it goes to the green status the green status means that it's been invoiced and sent and so uh, the only other color uh, of note is the red a red button will be if the um, email didn't get through successfully it'll come back red and that'll enable you to try again send it again um, you can also print invoices as well on your printer so there's alternate ways of getting of getting uh, invoices to customers um, you can also download an invoice and email it personally and tell the system that you've sent it but the key thing here is that you can see at a glance that you've done all of your billing um, so uh, by scrolling through you see that they're all um, uh, they're all on the uh, the green status, you know that everything's done, everything's been billed. Uh, and, that, and that's that's a key thing for, for MSPs to know that, that you're billing everything that you're being billed for. And that's that's uh, really part of what we do with Datagate. So we also have this uh, dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into Datagate. And uh, that shows you at a glance what your billing is, uh, shows you a trend of, uh, of, of the last six months, um, and it shows if there's any errors, um, uh, these numbers here. And these widgets uh, are all or giving sort of key information you can see at a glance. So, so there's any, anything going wrong with any of the, the DIDs, uh, any uh, that aren't found on any of the, the call detail records coming through from SkySwitch, um, you'll know straight away there's, there's been an issue, hey, we didn't find this phone number, or, um, or hey, we don't have a pricing plan for this customer. Um, you'll, you'll know about it throughout the month. You've got plenty of time then to, to, to address whatever the underlying cause of that is. Uh, and then, um, and so when billing time comes around, there's, there's no real big panic to have to fix a lot of things or um, follow things up. So um, the whole idea is to make it make it easier and uh, uh, and and at a, at a very uh, quick process. And and virtually all of our customers uh, report back to us that we we save them a huge amount of time uh, with DataGate, a huge amount of time and cost. So so really just summing up, um, what I'm really saying here is that at DataGate we we integrate with what's important for our for our customers, um, and that is we integrate with SkySwitch, ConnectWise Manage. Um, 
QuickBooks, Xero, and, and other accounting systems. Um, please let us know whatever accounting system you're using. I mean, by the we, we sort of inherit all the ConnectWise um, uh, accounting system integrations by virtue of, of using ConnectWise uh, to receive our invoices. So, so there's a, a wide range of accounting packages that we can support through through the ConnectWise integrations as well. Um, we, we also partner with um, Compliance Solutions, otherwise known as CSI, um, and we're, we, uh, we connect our end customer portal to scribeauthorize.net, and we have IP pay and, and quota integrations coming soon. So those are things we're working on right now because we know that they're, they're popular with, um, with our, uh, our MSP audience. So really that's, um, that's a 30,000 foot view of um, Datagate, and uh, I look forward to later on um, answering any, any questions that you have. So. I'll, um, so, Jason, I'll, I'll um, hand back to you, and, and I think uh, then we're, we're going into um, the ConnectWise presentation. But thank you. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Uh, now we're going to turn the uh, the presentations uh, over to uh, Topher Barrow. Topher, can you uh, go ahead and show your screen, please? Thanks, Jason. Hopefully, you guys can see it now. We can. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Mark, awesome job there. Uh, as I'm listening to it, uh, I'm just thinking to myself, man, like, this guy thinks exactly the way I do. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but, but glad you hit on some of the points uh, that you did because I think that that's really why ConnectWise uh, does so well in the MSP sectors because we, we have a lot of the similar concepts uh, built into our applications uh, that you just discussed. And so hopefully this will uh, weave really nicely into what you were just covering. So uh, like Jason said earlier, my name is Topher Barrow, uh, PMM here at ConnectWise. And want to, you know, reiterate, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free uh, to throw those in the chat box. I uh, would love to, to get into some nitty gritty with you guys as we push through this. So uh, hopefully I don't go too long here, but let's go ahead and dive in. So uh, I think, there we go. All right, so uh, one of the things that we kind of uh, harp on here at ConnectWise, at least myself, uh, and this is kind of a, a formula or dashboard, if you will, um, that I've really tried to harp on uh, with our colleagues and our partners is that in this MSP industry, as we are seeing more contract work, uh, it's going to be a little different than what we've done historically. We've always had this mindset of, hey, if I work harder, if I put more time in, we're going to make more money. Um, well, about 10 years ago, whenever, you know, we started doing this as a service approach or contract approach, um, we started to understand that, hey, if I increase my time investment on this contract, my revenue, in fact, isn't going to go up. So therefore, I am negatively impacting my profit margins. And so, you know, this is something that a lot of our partners have really come to terms with and really, like you see it on the top, understood that the, the drive for automation is key. Uh, because our goal is to minimize every single click, every single second, uh, because those are what adds up to increase uh, those profit margins. So whatever we can do across the board uh, to save you guys that time, whether it's in sales, marketing, uh, help desk, finance, uh, like we were uh, discussing just earlier, uh, that's really our forte and that's our goal. Um, so whatever you know you guys are doing today, um, this is the way we kind of look at the holistic approach of what we help our partners with. Um, so it all starts out with awareness, like I said, uh, putting together that sales and marketing push, uh, you know, creating that brand, creating those marketing campaigns and that sort of thing. Um, what you'll find is that with our solution, whatever information is entered in at any specific phase then empowers the next stakeholder, that next team to take over and really complete their job better. So. Uh, like Mark was saying, like that re-key, what happens in that awareness stage doesn't have to then be communicated or re-entered uh, by your sales team um, as that evaluation process of your customers is taking place. Um, we actually call it like the ConnectWise lifecycle, uh, which is how the information flows from one team to the next. Um, and, it, and it really does uh, create that seamless flow. Uh, that again, you just you save that time. It breaks down barriers between the teams and so forth. So you know, after the evaluation process, you know, automation through sales. You know, we've got the quotes and proposals tool where you can easily send out a quote, fully automated. The customer can sign and accept that. And then what happens is because it's all in the single system, your procurement team is now uh, supplied with what they need. Your service delivery, whether that's 
uh, your help desk, your professional services team, your, your implementation team, all of that gets uh, transferred over. Um, and then, you know, I think, I think the, um, the real item to really bring it all together is no matter what occurred uh, during that sales process, uh, the way that information flows through the system so seamlessly and as uh, each individual gets their hands dirty uh, doing whatever their job is, all of that eventually will flow into that billing system. Uh, so things like uh, time and materials, um, things like project uh, work, whether it's uh, fixed fee, whether it's uh, 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 time and materials, whether it's uh, do not exceed, uh, if it's products, if it's uh, contract work, all of that information seamlessly flows through that customer journey or that ConnectWise lifecycle uh, and ensures that everybody on the team knows exactly what was sold uh, so it gets billed accurately. And we just, we usually say like the invoice matches your quote, uh, essentially. So uh, really cool stuff there. And so one of the things that uh, Mark had hit on was kind of this whole power of the platform uh, idea, which uh, we are an API first driven organization because and I really liked what uh, what Mark said of stay in your lane. You know, we could go out there and try and be everything to everyone, uh, but we understand that there are organizations out there just like DataGate, just like Skyview, that do their jobs really well, uh, and they do it better than we could ever. And so what we do is we try to engage uh, a lot of this ecosystem approach, uh, like they said earlier, I, I think they're both in the Invent program, uh, really trying to drive a lot of this kind of centralized single source of truth uh, methodology. And what you can see here in this image, and I would show you that this image, it's only two circles right now uh, with manage in the middle, but we have one that's basically eight or 10 layers as we expand out. And then really that's where a lot of our event partners would fit in. You know, they tap in directly to manage for agreement management, or uh, they tap into manage for updating invoices. And so what we're able to do is we're able to reconcile a lot of what uh, you guys are doing outside of the manage application, uh, but give you that single source of truth. Uh, one of the things that uh, we always talk about here at ConnectWise is basically recognizing that single source of truth and what it is. Um, because we are uh, an ecosystem uh, type of organization, we know it might not be our, our system that is truly that source of truth. But what we do want you to have the ability to do is tap into that source of truth in an automated fashion. So whenever you do go to push invoices out of manage and send them to your customers, sync them over to your QuickBooks or your accounting package, you're not having to go in there and say, okay, well, this is my billing system. Now I need to go over here to my source of truth, which you know may be uh, SkySquitch or DataGate. You're not having to go to another portal uh, you know, some multi-tenant system to go track that information down. With one click, you're able to go in, review your invoices, knowing that that DataGate and Skyview, I'm sorry, SkySwitch are actually sending that information over. Uh, so it just gives you that one point of contact, you know, and I hate to say it, that single pane of glass, I know that that's like a, a super trendy word these days, but it is absolutely true. And so a lot of, you know, a lot of what we do um, within our platform really takes advantage of that sort of approach. Aggregating a lot of the information that you know multiple teams are working on through multiple vendors, multiple um, distributors and that sort of thing, and bringing it into a single application so that you can get those efficiencies without having to you know sacrifice a lot of that time investment to do that. And so we'll push forward just a little bit. And so one of the things that we say is, you know, how do you scale if, if you don't have the resources to do so? You know, in our industry, uh, your human capital is your number one expenditure, and that is growing every single day. Uh, I talk to tons of partners, and they say, you know, talent acquisition and keeping good talent is the most difficult part of my job. It keeps them up at night oftentimes. And so what we're seeing now is that unemployment rate continue to drop you know, 3.7% across the board. Um, if we take that a little bit further, for the industry that we're in, it's nearly at 1%. Um, and then this was astonishing to me, well, kind of astonishing to me, um, but it's actually as close to zero as you can pretty much get whenever you look at the security side of things. And I know a lot of us are, are really trying to, you know, push in that direction because honestly, 
we're all at risk if we're not pushing security to our customers. But uh, like you can see on the right hand side, if you want to you know, be able to do more with less, as we call it, you've really got to be able to get more out of your employees. And so the way I think about this, and I want to, to reference something that Mark was saying, which is, you know, we want to streamline a lot of that billing. Um, we did a study uh, within the last few years that said, if you don't have an automated invoicing and um, collection system or, or process, it costs you about $11 to do your invoicing. But if you were to implement an automated version of your invoicing and collections program, uh, it actually brings that down to about 70 cents or so. Uh, it's like an 11 times time saving. Uh, and that, that includes like, you know, if you're having to, you know, re-invoice due to errors and that sort of thing. But uh, again, being able to automate that is huge. And so if you, if you can do all of your invoicing with one employee versus four at the end of the month, it's going to save you a ton of time, going to save you a lot of money, and then bring those margins back up, just like Mark was saying. So you can get more out of that, or you can partner with somebody. You know, here at ConnectWise, uh, we, have, we offer a lot more than just the software, and I hope we get time to get into that. Um, but as we look at getting more out of your employees, I put this chart together based on that research that we did. And I don't need to explain a ton of it, but essentially what you're seeing here uh, is how much more you can get out of your employees. Uh, we, we did that study through Forrester, found that we made employees 34% more effective, okay? And that was through automated means, that was through scripting, that sort of thing. And so you're seeing that extra 34% output of them. In addition, that purple line is proactive monitoring. We decreased the amount of time invested into proactive monitoring by 32%. So if you look at it, you're getting almost, let's just say if you average it out, about 60% more out of your employees. And then last but not least, we also decrease the amount of work, usually across the board. This is unique to tickets. Um, but if we decrease the amount of, of tickets that you have to do by 20%, well, if you look here, in a three-year, this is in uh, by the end of 2022, you'll have to hire additional employees versus, in this case, uh, staying with your status quo of maybe hiring one employee per year. So, so really, you know, impactful numbers there uh, to see what you can do with uh, the applications that you guys adopt, the tool set, the configuration of it, uh, just to, to make your employees more powerful. Uh, like I said, we do a lot more than just the software. The software is just where we make money, I'll be honest with you. Um, what we offer outside of that, a lot of best practice thought, thought leadership stuff, um, our tool set was built because we owned an MSP. We still have that MSP today. Uh, and so what we found was we would, you know, figure out and crowdsource a lot of that, you know, top quartile best practices, build them into our solution, and then go out and educate on that. Uh, so we do a lot of roadshows, uh, a lot of user groups or share events. We do, you know, multiple conferences per year to help shed light into how MSPs are ran today. Even if you didn't adopt our solution, if you adopted these best practices, you can make an impact. We obviously have our solutions, a uh, whole platform of them. Uh, we have our support team to help you guys get the most out of our systems, continuous education. That's where I used to you know, love going out there, educating our partners, sharing the knowledge that we've picked up over the years, uh, the consulting engagements. And then I think the most impactful player in this little pyramid here is that community. We are a 100% community-driven organization. Uh, we, you know, we we don't single out any individual company. We are 100% for uh, the industry as a whole. And so, with the with the community that we've built and the shared knowledge uh, and the team approach that every single one of our partners has, um, we've been able to do some really incredible things um, with the industry, and that's that's super exciting to me. And then we're always obsessed with partner success, which is right there at the top. All right. So just another uh, chart here, if you, know, if you guys wanted to partner with somebody to, to help you guys achieve the same results that we went over, you see that little step ladder uh, that we hit on earlier. Um, but again, in the end, um, it's all about uh, the best practices you know, to improve where you are today. We've got peer groups uh, in the community that allow you to expand that knowledge, obviously the software, uh, to create that accountability and force your employees uh, to do exactly what you say, I think that that's probably a, a big uh, item there is just creating that accountability around what you want your staff to do. Um, we're a helping hand whenever you guys need it. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of people say, like, 
I, I was working 80 hours a week and I had been for eight years. Uh, once I was able to adopt some of, uh, some of the operational maturity items, some of the entrepreneurial journey uh, aspects that we educate on, uh, they were able to decrease that, offboard some of the workload, uh, and then you know go back and spend time with their families and, and live their life without having to worry about uh, the company going under. So um, really kind of um, uh, awesome to, to be part of an organization that allows that type of impact. So that's going to be it. Um, I know uh, I, I rushed through that, but I if I didn't rush through it, I would be talking until 1245. We're here on the East Coast. So, uh, But at this point, Jason, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you. I know um, we want to open it up for questions. Yes, we do. Thank you, Topher. Uh, that, was, uh, that was an excellent presentation of, uh, of all the benefits that ConnectWise can, can bring to our, to our partners out there. And you may be asking, you know, ConnectWise is part of this presentation. We are a, <clears throat> we are, we are a ConnectWise integrator a systems integrator with them, and we've integrated our platform into ConnectWise Manage today. So a lot of you don't realize what's going on there. So if you're searching in, in ConnectWise Manage for a company or a contact in there, you can associate uh, those companies or contacts with uh, a SkySwitch domain. If they do have a SkySwitch domain, we will uh, auto-populate a new pod and it will list all the services deployed for that particular customer in ConnectWise. If you wish to go immediately into the switch at that point, it's a one-click access from Manage into uh, the SkySwitch platform or the ecosystem and allows you to go ahead and you know do any manipulation that you need to uh, within the platform. Again, we have some uh, integrated billing that will be coming out with ConnectWise. Here in the next few months, we're going to be debuting that. But it's not going to be, just so you understand, the way that we bill, we can't, we can't rate inside of ConnectWise. ConnectWise does not support call data records or CDR. So we can't push that CDR over and, and rate you know, um, toll-free numbers, for example, at three and a half cents per minute. It's just not, it's just not feasible to do that. And that is why we partnered with DataGate to provide that access in so you can do all your taxable rating of your services and move those into ConnectWise and place that content, that, that VoIP summary onto ConnectWise agreements and have a single, <clears throat> I would say, platform in which to bill your customers. So there's a couple of different ways that things work. However, we think that we're really tackling this in the most proficient manner out there. And our sales team here at SkySwitch is here to work with you in any manner to convey how it works, how to do it, how to best go about it. Once we learn what your requirements are, we'll, we'll, we'll convey to you uh, we, the best possible path to get there. So you can count on us. Now I, want to, I just kind of want to go into this. Well, I don't want to kind of do it. I am going to do it. Um, let's go into the questions and answers. We got a list of them here. So. Um, I'm going to go with the first one here, and this is probably good for Mark. Uh, what is the frequency of CDR pool? Right. Uh, thank you, Jason. The, the the frequency can be adjusted to suit uh, the, the the requirement. Um, uh, I, I, most often, it's uh, once a day or, or twice a day, but it, it can be can be tuned more finely if if you're if if you've got customers using our in customer portal. So uh, the answer is that it's it's variable depending on on your requirement. Okay, fantastic. I just want to remind everybody too. I got we have William Brister, uh, the VP of Customer Success, that will be doing all the onboarding for DataGate too. So yeah, if you have some onboarding questions, um, William can answer those too. So go ahead and, and type those in, and I'll make sure that William uh, can get those too. But um, the next question again is a DataGate DataGate question: Is DataGate capable of pre-calculating and integrating the taxes into a flat rate? for VoIP services. For example, um, it's $29 a month, includes service and taxes. Uh, yes, yes, thank you, Jason. Yes, so that, that uh, uh, we can do, um, we, can, we can set up uh, what's, what we call a kit, which is where you can have uh, a single simple line on the invoice that just says 25 seats. Um, but the important thing is the tax calculations in the background. So that behind that one line, uh, you can have multiple lines 
uh, hidden away. One of them might represent the calling charge, one might represent other charges like uh, support, um, hardware rental, other things, so that um, each of those can be coded for tax separately, uh, and the end result is that you charge the optimum the tax for, for that uh, fixed rate charge. So basically that's again, you know, making it look very simple and easy to the customer. Uh, behind the scenes, we do the correct uh, tax calculations for that. Good question, thank you. Okay, um, the next question is, uh, it's, it's, it's more pertinent to uh, invoices here. Um, can you adjust invoices per client or is it system-wide? Uh, yes, we, we can have uh, as many invoice formats as you need. Um, they can all be applied to different customers. So uh, uh, at one extreme, you could have a different format for every customer. That would take quite a lot of configuration, but can be done. Uh, at the other extreme, as most of our MSPs do, they, they just have one format that all the customers use. And those different formats can be used to do things like uh, bill on behalf of an agent. You know, you can put a different brand on, on an invoice if, you, if you've got a reseller underneath your account, um, or you've got customers that have got particular formatting requirements. That's also an excellent question. And, and uh, I should also say that I've seen a lot of telecom deals won or lost on, on the format, format of the invoice. It's often very important to corporate customers uh, exactly how an invoice is formatted and uh, and we appreciate that and uh, give you that that sort of option too yeah Thank so you. what what I understand is that you can also you can you can really kind of customize the invoice and uh, customize the template and it does support parent and child accounts too and is there any limitation on parent child accounts well we um, uh, we have a number of different ways that we can do that we have uh, where you can obviously have a lot of uh, addresses for a customer. Um, the most common configuration we see is where you have uh, one invoice, but it's broken up into sections for the different uh, sites or different addresses. Uh, each site is probably going to be in a different juris tax jurisdiction, so you get subtotals of the taxes for each um, each one of the sites. So uh, we, that's probably the most uh, popular configuration. Uh, we have we have a new capability coming out uh, in, in a month's time that will enable you to generate a separate invoice for every site. Um, that comes up occasionally, um, uh, but they will all, all go under the same account. Um, we, you know, so we, we can handle that, that, that functionality as well. Okay, fantastic. And, and just to let everybody know too, um, when it comes to CSI, we, we use the CSI taxation engine. We've integrated that into uh, Datagate. So that is integrated CSI services are 100% a completely separate um, entity out there. That's taxation, that's filing. You could use CSI, you can use Avalara, you could use Surtax, um, you can use GSA. There's a lot of compliance and filing companies that will do that for you. But uh, the, tax, the taxation engine is integrated into DataGate and it comes with the platform, okay? Um, Here's, an, here's a question about invoices again. Is this invoice a special invoice or a normal invoice in SciConnect Y? So I think um, they kind of need a little bit more in depth about uh, a DataGate invoice being able to be sent out and then being able to move that content and that billing into ConnectWise agreements and send from ConnectWise. Yes, and again, um, thank you, Jason. That uh, Again, it comes down to the workflow and how, how you're um, you're working inside ConnectWise. Um, so we can push the invoice back in as a miscellaneous invoice, which just basically goes in under the, uh, the customer account. Uh, and that way also flows through to your accounting system. Um, uh, we can also, depending on the, um, on, on, the, on the use case, we can also populate a, an agreement itself. Um, we, we do have to be mindful of the, the tax calculations that are going on there when we're updating agreements. Um, and uh, yeah, but so so we can. Um, I guess the most popular uh, configuration is is to is to put it through as, as a miscellaneous invoice on the account, um, and we have got some customers that we uh, that we can uh, change the agreement uh, each month um, to to reflect the billing. So um, yeah, the, the, these are things we can we can um, we can configure on on uh, on the requirement of of the the client involved. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hey, and I want to, I see a lot of questions coming in about, um, is DataGate a replacement for RevIO? DataGate and RevIO are both uh, telecom-centric billing platforms. 
are those are two billing options that we have. They don't work together. It's you either choose RevIO or you choose DataGate, depending on what your preferences are and what your needs are. If you're using ConnectWise or you're using QuickBooks Online, it might be a good be a good idea to use DataGate. But if you're not using any of those two and you're currently on RevIO, you just might want to consider just staying on RevIO because they're both are very very similar in what they do. They have some inherent benefits of each. We can convey that to you, um, your, your account manager, your, your sales uh, representative. We can convey, convey those differences and those benefits to you. Be happy to do that. So just please reach out to your sales representative and we'll take care of that for you or reach out to me personally. I'd be happy to walk you through that. Um, we have a question about the process to configure CDR, to pull, pull it via API to an FTP. Again, Carlos, uh, this is all set and, and pre-configured at the time of onboarding. Just the way it works today with, uh, with RevIO, we, we do a pull, we bring the CDR in every day, and we process that CDR, we rate that CDR. The same process is gonna happen with DataGate, so it's an automated process. Next question is, how does ConnectWise transfer the tax lines into QuickBooks chart of accounts? Uh, it's over here. Um, so whenever you configure the taxes within uh, Manage, uh, you configure the multiple different tax levels and the different taxes that you have. Uh, and whenever you do that, you then uh, um, associate that with the tax item inside of QuickBooks. So there's a one-to-one -one match. So as it sends it over, to, it does send it over appropriately. Now, um, I know you guys referenced Avalara earlier. Um, you know, if you, obviously, uh, the, the telco side's a little bit more robust. We do have that direct integration with Avalara as well uh, to help pick up on that tax information. You know, if it becomes too robust to, to configure every single tax code, which I, I know it can be a, a handful. Yeah, and just and just a thank you, Tover, and just to let everybody know. Again, we're handling all the tax uh, mapping and everything by the onboarding team. So if you choose DataGate as your billing platform preference, we the exact same thing we do with RevIO that we've been doing for five years. We will do with DataGate and make sure that everything is is copacetic and and perfect with with regards to the tax mapping. Um, the next question here is about is, is about the invoice generation and can it be automated, which is several, we have several questions in the list of questions here and we got a ton of them, so stay tuned. But this is, uh, I think it comes down to auto billing. Uh, people are asking, in RevIO today, they can set auto billing up so it just runs every month and sends the statements out. Explain to us, uh, Mark, how you would do auto billing in DataGate. From what I understand, it's just one or two clicks to send statements out to all your customers every month. Yes. Uh, yeah, thank you. Good question. I mean, it's a, I guess it's a slightly different uh, uh, philosophy that we, we follow in DataGate. We, we, we like to really speed up the operation, make it quick and simple, but we do like the idea of somebody uh, overseeing what's happening. Um, so we strongly recommend having a look, even if you've got a large batch of invoices to go out, at least check one or two of them. Uh, have a look before they go out. Just just check for sensibility, um, because you know we, with a lot of uh, uh, processing going on and in, interconnected systems, um, you know, who knows if if, if uh, the, the one in a thousand times, you know, or or or, or even you know less than that. Uh, the if if anything is not set up correctly, whatever you know, who know, who knows what goes to your customer. So, so so we we just like the idea of of, of having somebody having some oversight over the billing, and it's it's a very quick process. So what we, uh, as Jason mentioned, it's it can be done in a couple of clicks, um, but it it also allows you to 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 see what what's happening as well. So um, typically it's a once once a month process, and and it's very quick. And uh, if you look at talk to any DataGate customer, um, you'll you'll find that that's a very quick process and saves them a lot of time. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, and that, you know, we're getting a few other questions in here about what does a telecom invoice look like? Um, if anybody would like a personal presentation or to hop, hop on a deeper dive of data gate, um, we're, 
what we've been doing lately, and we've done this a couple times with Mark's team, is to get four or five of our resellers together, Skyswitch resellers, and do a private webinar with a little bit deeper dive into the interface and answer a little bit more deeper questions. So if that's something that you'd like to do, just reach out to me, jason.jones at skyswitch.com. Shoot me an email out or give me a call at 858-605-0313. And we'd be happy to schedule something up and take you into more of a private uh, deeper dive of the platform. Uh, and we, we could take a look at what those invoices look like and the, and the customization of those invoices. How does quotes in SkySwitch integrate with DataGate? Well, I can talk to that one real quick. Let me take that, Mark. Today, the quoter that's inside the SkySwitch ecosystem is not integrated with DataGate. It's on the roadmap. They're working on it. As a matter of fact, they're practically neighbors up in the Vancouver area. So they're working on that together. We expect to probably see, I would say, maybe a beta by the summer and be ready to go. So if you were to go with DataGate today, then you would be forced to key enter uh, those customers into DataGate. However, Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, from what I understand, is that there's multiple ways to populate customers if they're using um, new customers, if they're using uh, QuickBooks Online or even ConnectWise. I think you sync with both, so you can populate from either and or uh, with new customers uh, from a, 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 a new quote that's been accepted. Is that correct? That's that's correct, Jason. Yes. So um, so so we you know we can receive uh, customer information from Connectwise Manage uh, and QuickBooks Online directly um, you know, through the integration. So um, so you, you're right that um, we're we're working very closely with our next door neighbour uh, Quota who um, and uh, to, to integrate our system. So that will you'll, you will see that, that coming up very shortly. Um, uh, but so for now it's you 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 rekey uh, whatever you have agreed to to build into DataGate or or ConnectWise Manage um, if you're using Quota, uh, but but the but the big gain is of course every invoice that you generate from then on um, will will be automatically passed through to um, ConnectWise Manage uh, and or your accounting system. So so you do really even with what we've got now, uh, you you overall are uh, saving a lot of time with rekeying. And uh, our mission is to uh, address every every area that uh, uh, that, ne that needs to be integrated. So um, so so definitely our Quota is. Uh, uh, is, is being worked on now. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, I think that I think this kind of leads into another question too about well, you know, you've got ConnectWise, and ConnectWise can actually do quotes itself also. So does that play any part uh, into if you're using ConnectWise today and and you want to integrate and you're using Sky and you've got SkySwitch as your you know, UCAS ecosystem and does that play a part in creating invo uh, creating quotes inside of uh, ConnectWise? Can you answer that too? Well, definitely, yes, yes. I mean, if you're using um, full uh, ConnectWise solution for uh, uh, ConnectWise Cell, and uh, you've got integration there to ConnectWise Manage, um, and of course that will flow through to DataGate for, uh, via the agreements on ConnectWise Manage. So, uh, so yes, it's, uh, uh, depending on your, your configuration, um, uh, you know, we 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 have. Uh, a lot of customers doing it that way um, through, through the ConnectWise, obviously, and and uh, and okay. Quota is popular, so we're we're also um, also integrating that as an option. Okay, so um, the next big question is: so what is what is the price of DataGate? And you know, it's from from our perspective at SkySwitch, it's it's going to be identical to RevIO. There's going to be an onboarding fee for it. And then there's going to be the percentages per month. And that's how it is a SaaS based program. So whatever the total is of your monthly billing, uh, again, as you're being billed for RevIO today, if you're, us if you're utilizing RevIO, <clears throat> that's going to be a percentage of your billing per month. They're, they're, they're completely identical in their cost. You choose which one's going to be best for you, which leads into the next question. If you're using RevIO today, and you have ConnectWise and you're using QuickBooks Online and you want to migrate to DataGate, what does that cost? So 
what we do is provide you a, just a one-time onboarding fee. It's it's a reduced fee because it is some heavy lifting for the um, for the onboarding team to be able to do that. But we only want to do that if you have ConnectWise or QuickBooks Online today because there's just uh, there's just a ton of interest coming in right now, and we want to take care of these customers first to uh, automate their back end. And but if you want to go ahead and place an order and and to get into the queue. We can get you into the queue, and then um, we can take care of you as normal. Again, if you wish to go down that road, please contact your SkySwitch sales representative, and we'll take care of you. The next question is, do you connect DataGate with SkySwitch to bill for what is provisioned? So is there any, I, I guess what's ask, what he's asking there, is there some kind of, either some kind of sync mechanism that shows if you're billing for exactly what is provisioned in the switch. Yes. Um, well, actually, uh, sorry, I, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to answer, but I, I know from my perspective, uh, what, what we're seeing uh, a lot of um, ConnectWise customers do is uh, they, they can do some of their billing in you know, ConnectWise, ConnectWise Manager, and, and they can do some of their billing in, in DataGate. Now, um, that's t t completely up to the MSP or, or how, the, how they do that. And uh, um, so, I, so, so that um, sometimes they'll, they'll do the, the straight um, regulated telecom billing through DataGate and and do do all, all the service work and any other kind of billing through through ConnectWise Manage. Um, but look, I realise that there may be more to that answer too uh, with the you know with how SkySwitch and um, uh, ConnectWise integrate. So, um, so I'm not sure if uh, if, if William um, might want to add to that or, or, or yourself, Jason. Well, I, I just, I just, I think the question was more: is that is there any kind of syncing mechanism before you go out and send a bill from DataGate? Does DataGate take a look at exactly what is provisioned and do any kind of gut check right there to see, okay, what is provisioned in the SkySwitch, you know, oh, yeah. uh, system is matching up to what's actually being billed to the customer? And I oh, think yes. that answer today is no, but something we're looking at in the future with better API connectivity. That's true, and I, but I would add also that we we of course check all the the CDRs coming through. So if somebody, if you've provisioned something in the SkySwitch platform and you have not, uh, if they've not been set up in the back office with, with DataGate, uh, you you get you get warned immediately as soon as the CDRs come through. So um, so you you have good visibility of that. But but yes, uh, uh, that's something that that's uh, that's coming up along soon as well. Thank you. Okay. Next question here, we got just about 20 more questions, so we're gonna to try to push through these pretty quick. Does DataGate have the ability to automatically create prorated agreement additions and push those to ConnectWise? Prorated, um, we do prorating, yes. Um, so uh, we, can, we can push those into the ConnectWise um, uh, agreement and uh, uh, and so that would that would mean you'd be generating your invoicing from from ConnectWise. Um, so yes, that's true. Yeah, that, 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 that we, we, we do that. Um, prorating is, is another thing I didn't mention, but that's that's also an important piece of functionality that we support. So when you've got customers starting partway through a billing period or or terminating partway through a billing period, uh, we automatically handle the um, the prorating of charges uh, in DataGate. And so yeah. I, th I think I've answered that correctly. It's, it's sort of got two parts to it. Um, yes, we do prorating. Um, yes, we can populate um, ConnectWise agreements. Um, we just need to be, uh, I guess, mindful of the uh, adding the taxes onto the agreement as well. And that's that's something that we can do. That that requires configuration as well. Um, so, so yeah, okay. in a nutshell, yes. Yep. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, does DataGrade integrate with QuickBooks Desktop online or both? Uh, it, it, it directly connects with um, with QuickBooks Online with an API integration, so that's that's the best integration of to, to QuickBooks. Um, if you're using the desktop edition, uh, it can be done with file transfers and uh, sometimes the use of, of a um, third-party package to read the files into into um, ConnectWise Desktop. Sorry, to, to QuickBooks Desktop. If you're using ConnectWise, however, ConnectWise does have a, a, a native integration to um, QuickBooks desktop so um, so so yes uh, but that's that's through connect wise 
Okay, the next question is, can we see the integration between ConnectWise and DataGate, i.e. creating a new client and or updating an existing agreement? Is that something that you can demonstrate on a deeper dive, Mark? Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. Happy to do that. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Um, is it possible to push payments received in QuickBooks to ConnectWise? Uh, so over here, I'll take that one. Uh, absolutely, we have a two-way sync with QuickBooks. Uh, so any payments that you make inside of Manage or any payments that you make inside of QuickBooks, they will sync back and forth. Even if it's a partial payment and so forth, uh, we'll keep track of that inside of Manage. Fantastic. Um, can DataGate integrate with Zoho Books? Uh, I, I, I can't answer that one directly. Uh, we need to look look more into Zoho Books, but um, if there's any way we can we can uh, do it via file transfer, if Zoho Books can read can read files uh, to get the data in and out. We can do it. So we can generate files of any format. Um, so we're happy to happy to look at that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Again, uh, someone's asking, do you have to be a CSI client in order to use the service? And the answer is no. The CSI taxation engine is built into DataGate just as it is with RevIO, and it comes with the service. So um, you don't have to be a CSI client in order to use it. Um, next question uh, was about auto billing. Uh, I think we already answered that question. The, the, let's see, the next one here is, uh, do you have to send invoices from DataGate portal? We have our own, uh, see, we have our own billing portal, Connect Booster, where invoices are sent to clients. Would it be possible to turn off the feature in the DataGate portal and just sync those invoices into ConnectWise and QuickBooks, which for us, the syncs to our billing portal? Does, did you get that um, one, Mark? Yes, yes, absolutely. Look, a lot of our a lot of our clients use Connect Booster, so it's a great product. Um, it's the, they're a great partner of ConnectWise and uh, and good friends of ours at DataGate. Um, what you know, and we do we have we have discussed this this um, this possibility with clients, and and uh, how most of them are using it is to send the invoice from DataGate. Um, they can because the invoice goes through to ConnectWise Manage, it's still visible inside Connect Booster. So. Um, it's just a matter of making sure it only goes via one mechanism, not the other. Um, the, I guess the nice thing that we offer from DataGate um, is is a, a, form, a nicely formatted uh, telecom specific invoice. So it's, it, it looks like a telecom invoice. It's formatted like a telecom invoice, um, and that that often is what clinches it. Where people say, "Well, actually, I'll send it via DataGate. Um, I can still." Uh, see it inside Connect Booster. My customers can come in and they can pay the DataGate invoice along with all the ConnectWise managed generated invoices, all, you know, all in one picture. Um, and I think that's the objective that you're after. Um, and yes, we can do it. Um, I mean, if, if you, you know, if you really want to do it from another means, yes, you can. You can, of course, not not send it from DataGate and uh, let it go into ConnectWise managed, but you do lose some of the formatting. Um, so um, I'm happy to, to to talk in more detail on that offline, um, but but the answer is we can do that, but I think you'd pref probably prefer to do it from, from DataGate if you're you know, looking at the results from that. And it's fully compatible with Connect Booster. Thank you. And, and just, just, just to expand in on that, uh, just because you send it to Manage does not mean you also have to distribute it from our application. Uh, you can just choose not to send that and only create it and send it to QuickBooks if you need to. Yes, good point. Okay, next question. Uh, we're going to move through these a little bit quicker. With DataGate, how would we accommodate customers who require a paper invoice mailed via USPS? Yes, very good. Good question, and, and no problem at all. We've got a one of the functions is instead of sending it via uh, via email, it can be sent straight to the printer. <laughs> to a printing service. Um, uh, we've got some uh, background noise there. Can we make sure we drop uh, the um, audio and please mute? Thank you. Go ahead, Mark. 
Yes, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if you heard me there, but um, yes, we do support printed um, printed e uh, invoices and and sending by uh, US mail, etc., and, and also by printing services. So yes, yes, it is supported. And you can you can have a combination of both if you want. You can you can mark some customers for email, some for some for postal mail. Okay, and the next question is, is how complex uh, is it to take all our current data from RibIO and move it over to DataGate? And what are the costs associated to that? Again, it, we can get you out a proposal for that and talk about the cost uh, of it. Um, and, uh, you know, so let's, let's not talk about that online today. But as far as the migration, Mark, um, do you have any, any, any insight on the, the, the amount of work that it would take to, to move a, a RevIO customer over to DataGate? Uh, it's it's something we you know we 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 do often and it's not it's not a it's 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 a matter of uh, it's done via file transfers and so e extracting data from Revio and uh, loading those files back into DataGate. DataGate is very very flexible at reading in different file formats, um, so we can um, we can we can set it all up up that way. And so it's it's something that's been done often and it's not not a problem at all. Okay, so basically, I mean, there's going to be a couple of exports, obviously, of, the, of your entire customer base, and there's going to be an export of the product catalog. We want to import that in and try to keep those SKUs, uh, try to keep those descriptions, pricing, everything identical, so it's, it's basically seamless for you. So, uh, and William is better off to uh, answer that question as far as the complexity, but he's reassured me that yeah, they can get that done for you if, that, if that's something you definitely want to do because of the integrations, okay? Um, the next question is, does Bill move from DataGate to ConnectWise to QuickBooks with tax and usage? Uh, yes, it so, does. Um, okay. Yeah. The, 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 and, and it's up to you, really, um, how much tax detail you want to send through. Um, Many of our clients um, decide to leave the complexity to compliance solutions. We have all the different taxes because if you've got customers all over the US uh, in lots of different states and counties and cities, um, you'll end up with a very, very large number of taxes. And uh, so one of the options that we offer, a uh, stress the word option, um, is, is to really, is to push that through to the, um, ConnectWise and uh, QuickBooks as, as a single item that says telecom taxes. We'd, we'd still separate out sales tax and use tax because it's, it's a, a separate thing, um, but then uh, compliance solutions will then keep track of what, of how all those taxes are made up. The data get invoice that you, that goes to the customer and you can still access it in time will have all the breakdown of all the taxes, and we have reports that can show that. But but what that does is 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 shield you from that complexity. Compliance solutions will tell you at the end of each month or at, at regular intervals, um, please top up our trust account with this much money. It's we're going to remit that. To all the different jurisdictions, um, and they and they really just take all that 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 uh, complexity away from you, um, and and that always seems like like quite a nice way of doing it. Um, so we, we offer that as an option. Um, the other option is to, is is to track it all individually, but there, believe me, there can be, if, especially if you're selling in lots of different different uh, locations around the U.S., there can be a lot of taxes, and that can be quite a big job, um, just sort of setting it all up to, to work that way. So. Um, yeah, I think it's entirely um, it's entirely up to our our clients. You um, you know how you how you'd like to do that. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Uh, we're going to get through the last few of these questions here. Will DataGate and ConnectWise let you know when contracts are nearing end, and be able to reach out to renew with customer? Might be a question for Topher. Yes, yeah, so uh, with our system, you can put proactive monitoring in place for those contracts, uh, those agreements that we have within our system, and you can do that on, on multiple things, um, some of them being the end date, the expiration date of that agreement. Uh, you can do it based on certain, because with our agreements, you can have multiple products on those, and if they have different end dates, you can use that as well, um, you know, and a lot of people will bundle that also with if you're familiar with configurations in our system, the ability to uh, queue on the end date of either or both of those um, as they set up their system. So absolutely. Okay, thank you, Topher. Um, I use a package called eAutomate. Can I export invoice info to an Excel spreadsheet? I guess out of DataGate. Can they export invoice info into an Excel spreadsheet? 
uh, yes, we can. Yes, absolutely. So we have um, a number of standard formats for CSV files that we can export, and that that can be read directly by by most spreadsheet uh, applications, including Excel. So yes, yes, we can do that. Perfect. Um, are we able to create service bundles, a single line item that is made up of several other items with taxation? Yes, a very good question, and yes, we can. Yes, and and that's. Uh, uh, great for, for one, essentially one line on an invoice that that represents in, any number of other products uh, that make up that that bundle. So um, yes, good question, and 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 yes, we do, and that's a very important feature uh, to get the taxation correct as well. So thank you. Fantastic. Here's a great question for us. I was kind of waiting for one of these to come along here. If you have sub agents. Are the reports in either of the applications that allow you to enter percentage for that sales agent to know what to pay sub agent for each month? So I would uh, some kind of commission engine. Is there is there anything in there that would support that via yes. DataGate or even ConnectWise? Um, I, I, and I know the answer is, is yes for both. And, and I'll, um, uh, but from DataGate's point of view, um, yes, we we can apply agents to um, to accounts, and then we can uh, report. Uh, separately on them, calculate commissions. Um, we can uh, also put a different uh, invoice information on, on on the accounts of those agents as well. Uh, I know that it's only part of the answer, so maybe I'll hand over to, to Tofa to answer uh, for ConnectWise. Thank you. Um, can, can you repeat that question about the sub? Uh, oh, so commissions? Yes, um, sub agents. We, we, yeah. So I don't know specifically about the sub agents, but we do um, offer commissions within our system. You can set it up based on a few different uh, items, whether it be uh, quotes or whether it be the invoice amount and that sort of thing. Um, so yes, we can. I'm just not super familiar with that sub agent approach. Um, but you know, if you guys have questions, please feel free to let me know, and and I can uh, you know get a a SME on that a subject matter expert. Okay, so sounds so, great. So I think the answer is uh, yes, we can do that certainly. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're just we're really running out of time here, so I just want to try to push through these last few questions because I just want to try to be as thorough as possible. So, can you use ConnectWise Cell for quoting? Yeah. Well, yes. Um, uh, the, the, and in fact, I'm not sure, Tofu, you should answer this, but uh, but yes, the, um, the ConnectWise Cell will populate ConnectWise Manage with the with the quotes that are get, you know, get accepted and passed through to be to be agreements, um, and uh, and so we work with agreements. So so yes, con that ConnectWise Cell is a is a logical uh, extension uh, for the quoting. Um, sorry, Tofu, if you did you want to add to that. Or? Um, yeah, so uh, ConnectWise Cell is our CPQ uh, tool set that, uh, that does integrate directly with Manage and, and several of the other applications. Uh, I'm not sure how deep the integration is with DataGate, um, but if you are quoting out of Cell, you then push that information throughout the rest of the system. This is where DataGate will come in and say, hey, you've created this agreement from this quote. Let's update that agreement and invoice through that. So there would be a connection there. Um, so that you can keep those two uh, kind of connected. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Okay, okay, fantastic. One one thing that everybody I know we still have uh, about fifty attendees on here. We've had some we had some drops, but understand between SkySwitch, DataGate, and ConnectWise, there are multiple ways to get things done, and it's all your personal preference of how you wish to do it, how you wish to automate it, how you wish that workflow to operate within your own company, okay? So we don't, we, it's, it's not fixed, it's, it's, it's variable. So, you know, um, a lot of these questions are coming in as like, oh, can I do this, can I do that? How does that work, how does this work? You know, ConnectWise has, ha, can, is able to do quotes and DataGate's able to do it and we're able to do it and, you know, Finding that right mix for you and the way your business operates, that's what we wish to do. We wish to provide you know, the right path in order to get that done. So we feel confident between the three of us that we can uh, really get that done. Here's a great question for you is, if I want to get into ConnectWise, um, what are the costs in getting into ConnectWise? So I gave my um, email address out as a 
as a source for doing a deeper dive with me, Topher, who would they contact at ConnectWise in order to do, uh, to get a, uh, uh, an introduction to ConnectWise and the costs associated to it? Hey, um, yeah, so if you guys email invent at ConnectWise, I think Amber on the line here, she'll be able to direct those accordingly. And then if so facto, if it, uh, if it needs to be a deep dive with myself, then they'll obviously get me involved. So invent, I-N-V-E-N-T, at ConnectWise. Great. And, and for that deeper dive with DataGate, just email me to jason.jones at skyswitch.com. And Jason is with a Y, J-E-Y-S-O-N dot Jones at skyswitch.com. Um, one last question. Will credit card info move across uh, between the platforms? Uh, the, the credit card information um, is, is generally handled at the uh, payment portal, user portal. Uh, customer facing portal and uh, so DataGate doesn't uh, the DataGate billing engine itself doesn't doesn't touch credit card information um, that's normally stored uh, by Stripe or Authorize.net um, and uh, yeah so it's that, that, that's got to be uh, obviously protected very carefully there's all sorts of regulations around that so, um, so so DataGate does not need to store it and I don't think ConnectWise does either um, yep that's correct, correct. Thank yep. You. Okay. Well, that's that's going to be all the time we have today. It's uh, it was a very very informative session. I want to thank Topher and I want to thank Mark for uh, demonstrating today. I want to thank everybody for being on the call. We were going to we will be editing this video or this webinar and then getting that out and posting it up on the SkySwitch University uh, YouTube channel and then emailing it out to you with a link uh, from GoToWebinar and uh, everybody will have access to it. Again, thank you everybody uh, and we'll see you next time on the next uh, SkySwitch University webinar. Have a great day.